Hey, hey guys, you're tuning in to the Mina B podcast. It's your girl, Mina B, and I'm back with yet another fun filled episode. So, where to find me at the Mina B podcast over on IG? Be sure to check us out. Links are in bio for all your listening pleasures. We are on Anchor FM, Spotify, iTunes, Apple Radio, iHeartRadio, all that good stuff. So, all the links for all your listening pleasures. If you fuck with the show, rate, review, comment much warranted we need that i need that y'all need that for me to be great you know what i'm saying and also if you're viewing from home and you just or you're new to the show and you just happen to watch for the first time make sure to hit that subscribe button over on youtube make sure you do that for me okay so if you're watching from home i got a couple of people here with me today you know we're talking about the service industry. We're talking about the restaurant industry, honey. We're talking about bartenders, servers, how we make our money, what we got to deal with, tips, no tips, the drama, the ins, the outs, all that good stuff. So I'm going to start to my right. Go ahead and introduce yourself, love. Hi, I'm Alicia. You can follow me at Layla on Instagram. And I'll definitely add her information okay. and all the information in the fucking description so y'all can follow and stalk my friends, okay? What's good, peeps? I'm Derek, and then follow me at Jamar06, Instagram, man. We're about to talk about it. Period. Hello, everybody. I'm Joe, a seven-year bartender at JoJo Butter. You can find me on Instagram. Yes. All right, and y'all already know who she is. <laughs> y'all already know who she is. So, yeah, y'all, listen, we're here to talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, the nitty-gritty, the ins and the outs. So, it wouldn't be right if we didn't come onto the show and say, you know what, you want to be a part of this industry. You may not know what you really want to do in life, or you just need to make that extra money, right? right? You in this industry, quick cash. quick cash. Maybe we can even start with how we each got into this industry. We, de we definitely can do that, but let's start with personality. Because that's the thing for me, when I go out to eat, I need a personality. I need somebody that's going to, you know, make me feel like I'm going to spend my money. Right. So, right, right. The thing about it is, we, we we would be remiss not to talk about that part and just get to what the customers do, because they do shit. So, you must have a personality. You must have good customer service. You must be able to communicate effectively with your table, and even if your table is slow, dumb, slow, <laughs> all that good stuff, you got to be able to communicate with it. It's a lot of them. Right. And if you're shy or not, or just not, or just not in the mood, or you just don't want to fuck with it, then it's not the industry for you. Exactly. It's not the industry for you. Yeah. I'm glad I'm you started it up. <laughs> you, yeah, exactly, because right. you, are, you are on stage. Exactly. Yeah. You're on stage. You're, right. yeah. You're on stage, for sure. I don't care what you have going on that day. You probably got into a thousand arguments. and you going there, you got to go and smile and get to business. No, Absolutely. Because that's, that's, that's going to make or break your tip. You're right about it. How you act towards your customer, your personality. And I'm glad we started off with that before diving in because I don't want to sound all negative. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you this comes in respect to the personality that you exude. So if we're right. talking about a bad experience and how it upset us, it's not just because guests suck, it's because we know we put our best right. foot forward even when we have bad days Absolutely. to get this money. Exactly. Absolutely. And, girl, and look, don't get me wrong, it ain't every day gonna be perfect now. Not, not at even all. close. <laughs> not every day, because I know I have days. And, but you know what, you, you do get customers that give you grace. For like it being busy and all of that, but we'll definitely right. get into that. Right. So, Alicia, how did you get into the service industry? When did, when was your start, finish, end? What are you doing now? Okay, um, so the very beginning of the service industry, I think I was like 16, and I started working at Ruby Tuesdays, and it was just like a little summer thing for me. I just got out of school. I was, I might have been older than 16. I think I was before I went to college. And I just wanted to see what it was like, you know, waitressing. I don't even remember what type of money I was making at that age. It was just, you know, something, let me try something different. Um, so I tried that there. It was cool. Went to college, did not do anything else. Wasn't working for, a, a, I want to say, probably until my sophomore year. I'm in a small town where there's clubs, little night joints, bars, and stuff like that. And that's where the girls want to go make their money right in the club. So... I really got into it and found a passion for it more so like in my college years when I was making some good money, like being young and making that type of money working at like, I worked at a place called House of Jazz. So it was a lot of older men, older women, you know, they, they spend their money. Yeah. Like right. The older kind of crowds. And I'm, right. I'm like 20, 19 years old making this good money. So I was just like, what? This, this is what it's like. Right. You just go in for the nighttime for a few hours, you know? 
you having a good time because it's music playing, mm-hmm. it's people, you can get to dance and stuff. Right. I'm like, okay, this this is this is something I want to do. And it just transitioned. I kind of jumped in and out of the service industry because I do have my corporate job. So, like, I might go bartend for, like, two years and then take a year two off mm-hmm. and then be like, okay, I want to get back into it because that money, it's, it's addictive. Especially it's if you have the goal of something addictive. that you need to do. Yeah. It's really easy to just hop into the service industry, make that quick cash and get the fuck out right. of right. so it. That's, that's, yeah. 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 Like, dang, I, I'm going to get to a, a financial goal point. Okay, I know if I go work at this bar for a couple of months, I can do that. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Sure. Well, um, I uh, was in Indianapolis and um, I was working in a factory, a big sporting good, I'll never forget it. And I hated it. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, this is how they was looking at you. You got to request, mm-hmm. put your hand up, go to the bathroom. Oh, yeah. It's just oh, constant wow. work. And I was just yeah. like, man, I mean I, I mean, I was doing it and the money was okay. Um, but one of my boys started working at the Cheesecake Factory. And I was just like, I mean, I'm noticing like, you're running out of cash. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Here I am waiting on my check every week. Like, man, you got cash all the time. So mm-hmm. I ended up getting on at the Cheesecake Factory. So I was working at the Cheesecake Factory and I was doing big sporting goods. And I walked in big sporting goods. I was like, man, I'm done doing this. Y'all <laughs> right? all looking at me. I got to ask you to bathroom, a 15 minute break, a 30 minute break, right. another 15. Like yeah, like, I was like, I'm not truly really trying to do that. So that's how I started. I, that's, I started off at the Cheesecake Factory making excellent money. Um, I'll be honest, man, I was partying, so I kind of. <laughs> we all get it. You know, it kind of went downhill. And, but, um, then I ended up making my way into Atlanta after that, and um, I just start, I started surfing at the Cheesecake Bistro on Atlantic Station. That was the first one I did here. Yeah. I did that, which was cool, but I still talked to a lot of people, you know, that I worked with mm-hmm. there. And then I went over to um, Rosa Mexicana, which is in Atlantic Station. Man, I learned how to make guacamole. No, um, no, they tore it down. Yeah. Yeah, they tore it down. But I had already yeah. left there before they had well, I got into the manager. Oh, I and I, but I was there. I worked there for about, I, I, I had been there about like six years. Like, I, I mean, I was watching and I had just put in, I could, I mean, I was doing paperwork and everything. I could have just, might as well just put me as a manager. Right. But, um, I ended up leaving there because I got into it with the GM. They got a new GM, some chick named Amy. And I was just like, no. So I ended up Not leaving Amy. there. <laughs> yeah, I ended up leaving there, and I, that's when I went to uh, Mary Max, and I was there for three years. And um, <laughs> that was your last one. Yeah, yeah, like and then COVID started, and so then. Oh, um, so that's the more recent one. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so Got then my boy uh, was just, he was Brian. He worked at the Pirate <laughs> Boy, and uh, he was just like, uh, oh man. Well, anyhow, <laughs> he was like, uh, come on out. You know what I mean? I'll give you just some yeah. quick money because you get that unemployment, which was lit. We was getting like seven to eight hundred dollars. Oh, that's right. Oh, in the beginning of COVID. Yeah. yeah. So then I came and I was just, you know, making money out there, and here I am. I'm still there. You know what I mean? I'm only working like a few nights a week, but it is what it is. So. <laughs> well, me. Okay. So how did I start? I wanted to bartend. Love drinks, mm-hmm. and I thought it was super easy. When one of my girlfriends who was super in, like, she had a great corporate job, but she always bartended on the side, and I was mm-hmm. just like, "Well, bitch, I want to do it too." So she was like, "Hey, go to this school, it's Columbia Bartending School at Columbia University in New York City." Mm-hmm. And oh, okay, <laughs> oh, you know, I did prestigious. Right, in the hard bartending school. Right, so okay. I was there. Um, and I knew I was moving to Atlanta, so I definitely wanted to make sure I got that certification and just knocked it out the park and learned everything. It was extensive. Mm-hmm. I learned everything I needed to learn. I mean, in Atlanta, knowing I was moving to Atlanta, I said, all right, boom, like, I already know what time it is. I got laid off of my good old job, and I said, this is what I got to do. I got to come down here and make a little bit of money while I have unemployment. That was back in 2010, a long time ago. And I got a job on Peter Street at a spot called Cloud Nine. They were owned by New Yorkers. So, you know, that was a bond mm. automatically off rip. We are family. We still fuck with each other to the day. To this very day, we still are all friends, all hang out. And I made good money there. I mean, we had the best times. I mean, Future used to come up in here before he was Future. I mean, this is when Peter Street was that shit. Peter Street. And that I place. Um, I had a great experience there. I wanted a little faster money. So even though I was working my day job too, I went and started working at room service. Worst thing I ever fucking did. I don't give a fuck who owns it now or doesn't own it now. Well, they're closed. They're all closed now. Even the one in Miami is closed now. But um, 
I did make fast money there. It was an after hour spot. Um, Africans definitely looked out on the bottle service because that's what I did. I did bottle waitressing. Oh, I never knew yeah, that. Yeah, I did bottle waitressing. What? And, um, I mean, I was cute. Okay, I can see I it. I was cute. I was cute. I was cute. I was cute. Bring us sparklers. Well, I can see it. So I had. I can see it too. And I mean, this is when the weaves were really big and the nails were really pointy. The child, yeah, it was great. I had a great experience with for a moment there, but of course, it was ratchet. Atlanta nightlife, Atlanta nightlife oh, and as far as after hours, it gets a little ratchet. So yeah, did that. And then I went over to Fine Dining at Ocean Prime and I did a little bit different, a different role. I was um, the head of, um, what is it called? I guess for them it was guest services at the time like and, private, and, and private stuff. dining. Yeah. So I did that and that was wonderful. I met amazing bartenders there that got me drunk all the time. Okay. All the fucking time. That's where I really got to learn craft bartending because as a bartender, you're, by trade, you're gonna wanna know how they make those drinks and saw like certain things and you know, because I was damn near there all the fucking time. I went back there and started doing shit with them. So that was great. And then came back to my mass New York. <laughs> sorry y'all, sorry, that's home, that's home, that's home. Yeah, home. But uh, <laughs> Barton in New York Barton in New York is a different beast. There's different money there, there's money there. I never had nobody walk out on me. Ever. I, but I also got a lot to work a lot of events. I got a, a lot of boat rides, a lot of events. Like promoters reach out to me all the time to do events and I made a lot of money, like especially during like holidays, Memorial Weekend, Labor Day yeah. weekend, stuff like that. Niggas is going out of town. I'm staying for the niggas that's coming right. out of town yeah. so we can have money make this money. Yeah. Me and the girls that I work with. So yeah, and then came back to Atlanta, worked at this bum-ass place called <clears throat> Brooklyn. Ha. Um, Still owes me a lot of money and a we'll lot of that. other people money. <laughs> but, you know. Oh, Brooklyn? Yeah. yeah. What was it? Um, Downtown. Off of Ivan Allen? Ivan Allen. Yeah, it was off Ivan Allen. But right, right, there. right behind the W. Okay. And, okay. and, okay. and okay. Oak. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, cool we cool experience. That's where I met her, and I love her to yeah. death. And we got super close. And, damn, we close for everybody that really was in there. Yeah. Honestly, we still cool. We still hang out during the summertime and shit. COVID, we still standing on couches during COVID. But <laughs> right. Shit. Welcome to Atlanta. Welcome to Atlanta. <laughs> but, you know, we had great experiences there. And we didn't bartend there, but we did their big parties. All their, like, events were upstairs, and we managed those. There was, like, three, four girls that did it. Me, Alicia, shout out to Amber, our other ace boom. Yeah. And another yeah. girl. I forget who else. Was it only us three? For the majority. For the majority of the, of the time, yeah. especially Friday and Saturdays. Yeah, that was us. So, I mean, a lot of heavy hitters, a lot of reality stars. We made a lot of bank that summer 2019. Summer 2019 was mm -hmm. a great was summer for us. Like, <laughs> we made a lot of money. Money! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm at another place that I love and met these guys and that guy over there. And, you know, making this money and just doing what we do, especially after COVID and everything that's been happening, it's been very, very interesting to see the amount of money very that we've been able to make, right. the yes. amount of money that people are right. spending and not spending or yes. cannot spend because Atlanta's open. You know what I'm saying? Wide, so, yeah. wide open. Wide open. So it's been an interesting journey and I've been very blessed. And the statistics of it, you know when people are in their unemployment and seeing that you ratio. Know. Listen, but, 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 we, but, but, we, but we do get our the little card. The little card. They be, they be paying their food. Oh, the card. They man, yeah, yeah, they yeah. Look, I'm just going to say this. The, I hate a charm card, man. Y'all do not look out on the charm card. What's a charm card? It's, it's a uh, white card that says Chime card yeah, on it. Like it's almost like a cash app. It's almost like a cash app. Oh, they do not. At my last spot that I was at before. Oh, okay. Um, Barbara Bistro. Rose, though. We'll talk about this. We'll, <laughs> we'll talk about that, too. But, Jojo, where was your start in the industry, darling? Oh, my start in the industry. Yeah. Um, Actually, it's funny that you say that. Because I was actually the first one in the restaurant fast food industry. My start actually um I started in the restaurant fast food industry ever since I was 15 I've been working, mm -hmm. but mine started out of jealousy actually. My best friend in the entire world was working at Papa Do and was making a lot of money. I've always been a hard worker, but I never knew how lucrative that the restaurant industry could be. Mm -hmm. I actually started when I turned 18 um, in the dancing industry. I did three separate private dancing events as a bucket list thing. Not because I necessarily wanted the money, but I thought it would be fun. And I seen the amount of money you could make from entertainment. Mm -hmm. That was a good entertainer. 
which I think brought me into meeting my friend and also brought me into seeing how much they were making and knowing I had the type of personality. Mm -hmm. So I started at Papacito's Cantina, a really mm -hmm. nice Tex-Mex yeah. spot. And a few months later, I was promoted into a bartender. And after that, my bartending career launched off and I've loved it ever since. Yeah. Nice. And like, this is your career, bro. 100%. 100%. They my side gig. Can I ask a question real quick? Yeah. Okay, so you mentioned you went to bartending school and you kind of just got trained. Got trained. Kind of I, was, so like, I did it. Yeah, I was working at Boston Mexican Concert for seven years. And, um, I mean, I do, I do everything. They just threw me back behind the bar, and that's how I started. Okay, same for me. I just wanted to see, like, in York, training, yeah, how was it? In New York, they, they don't in house. It's very, very rare that you'll get in house training. To maybe just right. on the restaurant. Very but true. in New York City, you have got to go get a certification. Oh, okay. You have got to go to school for a So period. if JoJo moved to New York, he would have no. to. Because he had that, he had that training. experience. Okay. Okay. But if you're fresh yeah. out, out gate, if you're yeah. fresh out, it's a lot of restaurants don't even have that type of time because I mean during we'll those times New York was so busy exactly. and all of that. Like I, I, every most of the girls that I know, not the ones that work in the strip club, <laughs> not, the, not, not, not the bartenders from the strip club, y'all. I'm talking about girls that work in actual restaurants. If they were, did not get on job on the job training like an Applebee's or Chili's, they went to school. So yeah. that's their okay. Yeah. Just wanted to see how. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit different from city to city, you know, right. or state to state, rather. Gotcha. So, you know. Do you think that you need to go to bartending school? I don't think you need to go. I don't think, think no, go honestly school. speaking, there were things that I you made, but it's just like throughout time, you start learning the yeah, drinks. And then right. also, you learn the drinks based on what the needs of that yeah. restaurant are or what the menu is. So, you know. Yeah. Exactly. No, like, even if you start off as a waitress, you're right. going to learn the menu so you'll exactly. know what the drinks are made of of right. before that you too. even get behind that the bar. Too. So, like, if it's like an in house training, you get back there and you're like, well, I already know this drink is mixed with this, this, and this. Now it's just knowing the pores. The pores. Yeah. Right. I don't like when people put down people that went to bartending school though, mm -hmm. especially because I do train bartenders as well for yeah. a living as a big part of my career. And it shows something different within a bartender, I think. When right. you're in-house trained, it's all experience. It's all based on relationship. Mm -hmm. When you come right. in having bartending school knowledge, it shows a different type of hustle. And, I think. and you want this. You spent money to invest on yourself I for did. this. And that. you have some pre-knowledge that most people don't have. Right. And then there was a couple like other like little drinks that were just in there then you like, who the fuck orders this? But then <laughs> you actually huh? go to some restaurants that you work at. White customer that they want that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Just little yeah. red yeah. shit. Yeah. Like very rarely, I, I like French martinis. I'm not necessarily a, right. I'm not necessarily <laughs> a vodka <laughs> girl either. But when someone asks me for that, I'm like, that's a motherfucker that knows their drink. Yes. Right, right. You right. have got to know your drink to to ask for that. So, right. You know, I mean, different strokes for different folks. Favorite cocktail. Oh, oh, let me start. <laughs> 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 so my favorite cocktail <laughs> is. A lemon drop, but I don't drink vodka, so I have to do it with tequila. Mm. Preferably Casamigos. Yeah. Yeah. Or Don. Or Don. Yeah. It depends on what day it is with me. I mean, one day I'm kettle orange juice, one day I might be on some hen. It just depends on what's going on. Mm -hmm. I'll be tequila side. It depends on what day. Okay. So no gin though. I hate Ooh, no, gin, no. I, and that's what I started. I started off drinking gin. Me gin and tonics because you didn't know. Seagrams. That's what I was you didn't drinking. Know no my boy, shout out to my boy Jermaine, who's on that Seagram gin. And <laughs> I hate it now. I would not drink a gin. I mean, oh my god. But yeah. For me, I mean, damn, I'm a little bit of an alcoholic, so um, <laughs> we all. Right. Right. Every now and then, I nice, I like a nice, nice little Henny Rita, little Henny Margarita. Uh -huh. This girl has me drinking these fucking lemon drops mm -hmm. with tequila now. But I think my little go-to drink, like, I guess when I'm on a date and I know I'm fucking. Um, <laughs> I'll say. Let's get straight to the point. Right. I'll, say, <laughs> I'll, say, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say a Grand Marnier splash of pineapple. I love Grand Marnier. Really? Yeah. I love Grand Marnier. Never Marnier. expected that. Yeah, splash of you. Splash of pineapple. That's very classy. I'm not trying to get super intoxicated. But don't like that. That's the thing. The Grand Marnier is a liqueur. So, you know, if I'm on a good date or, you know, I'm not. My viewers, not my viewers know that I'm not dating right now because these niggas ain't shit. But when I am in like and I know that it's going to go down the basement, when I I'm like, that's cute. Yeah, when I'm in like and I know it's going to go down basement, that is my drink. Hey. Yeah. So Anytime I, mean, I see her drinking some girl that grandma But JoJo, JoJo, JoJo knows me. The, I see what time you JoJo are. knows me the most because we drink together <laughs> right. all the time, and you've right. never seen me drink over. No never, oh, never, never. Oh, never. Oh, never. Well, Mine's yeah. definitely a spicy, skinny jalapeno margarita. Oh yeah, that's my oh, favorite cocktail. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. 
She worked for you. Exactly. We don't even think about exactly. that. Exactly. Don't even count. Don't even worry. Don't about even question about that. There's been plenty of times I forgot to clock in. Yeah. Until I, mean, I had to like bring something in, and that was just like, oh, okay. I do it now. Okay. Yeah. I do it now. And that was just like, yeah, oh, it doesn't even matter. I mean, that's my time clock. Like, why? why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's, I feel like there's a misconception that there's hourly pay, so they're gonna make money anyway. As to why some people don't tip or whatever the case may be. Tips are generous, right? Mm -hmm. Right or wrong? They're generous. Tips are just, but that's subjective. There's, there's an, there's an, no, no. And the, the, here's what I'm getting at. I feel like some people feel like they're not obligated to give a tip. 100%. They feel like if they give you the tip, it's because they're being generous. You're yeah, going right. to make money. This yes. is where you work. You're yes. automatically going to get make your money. But that and that's also a misconception to your personality, like. That's why you kind of have to build that alter ego and go above and beyond and mm -hmm. always come in happy and excited yeah, no matter what. Making their day. Oh, you, you made to, my day. Yeah. Even you, if you feel like they're not going to tip. Yeah, you, you just got right. to do yep. it. Yep. That's just that like, that even, the other day, even the other day, I had a bitch running me back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and I knew she wasn't going to tip oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. I knew yeah. she wasn't going to tip shit. Right. Because she was doing the most. And you said it too. And I, I said it. I said, she's not going to take nothing because she's rip, got me ripping and running. I'm going to continue to rip and run. Why she not tip? She had to get her bill paid by somebody else. And she had to get her bill paid by somebody else. Wow. Wow. You can't even let that steam off until you walk behind the door. <laughs> and you're like, it's me. And I just knew what I was like. I knew that people were going to tip me. But, I'm, but you know what? I was cool about it because I was like, I know these niggas right here about to tip me good. Right. They about to tip me good. We about to get tipped out by the service right. at the end of the night. Nigga, I ain't worried about that shit. And that's the thing, like sometimes they feel like you're like they running you for whatever the reason is because that's your job. But right. but like, that's not really how this works. Like, you know what I'm saying? I could honestly just leave you alone and just let you sit there. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You, yes. could, you could call a manager like, and be like this, entering your order. Entering your order. I don't have to do all of that. We really don't. And like not even on a generous type thing but so I went out to eat with some family members one time and they're older and yep. like 60 years old so when they're ready to tip they just think oh I could put $5 five dollars five ten dollars that's okay but yeah. when everybody in here done order steaks yeah. and lobster and that's not oh, a $5 give them $10 tip. of this $500 yeah, bill like, he deserves it regardless of how great that server was like I feel like it's ingrained in the I feel mind. like naturally and I hate to say this but I feel like as African Americans and I can say with even with myself that I was not brought up taught how to tip like I wasn't mm. taught oh, nobody that's taught true. That's very true, how to tip I've been thinking back when I was in college and I was at them restaurants I mean, not when I was in high school and going to prom. I'm like, did I tip? I probably didn't tip them. Right. Well, of course because we did. Because I wasn't so we aware. Were we didn't have the money for what right. 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 You don't realize how important tipping is until you work. Until, until you, you, you work. I taught my whole family, family how to tip. And I taught yeah. my family too. Like, Me I too. literally, I'm literally the one, if I don't pick up the tab, I pick up the tip because yeah. I don't know why. I'm like, what's that? All right, but some of my people don't be tipping either, though. I'm not going to say African. I mean, but I feel like they are taught to tip, Ollie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, well, well, I don't even know about that. I, I, mean, I, I think you might. Taught, taught. I'm not saying they're taught, but I just feel like more of my Caucasian tip was going to tip me. 
Mm. More than I, I mean, we're Maybe. on that now. It's like, and I mean, I mean, that's what they raised upon their parents. Yeah. 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 That's what yeah. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. And I really yeah. taught to tip. No, yeah. I'll say the I'll say the black boys that I know that got money and they do not tip the best. I don't think that I don't even think it's like a race thing. I just think is it's more of an age thing and just and knowing, an age thing. knowing knowing the industry, knowing the industry. You think demographic knowing plays that. into it though? Like what he's saying with yeah. being black, it's obviously someone from the hood versus someone in a right. nice suburban area, which is typically dominant. Like, I, 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 I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, cause even at our spot now, there's some white folks that come in there that don't, they tip regular, like it's, right. it's baseline, like it's about mm -hmm. 18%, they'll right. give you maybe the 20% and that's it. But then if you work the day shift, there's an older guy that'll buy a little, you know, whatever for eleven dollars. It's a lunch special, and he's going to tip you that dollar, bro. Yeah. Yes. With, yes. With, wait, wait, wait. Yes. With a platinum Amex. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. With a platinum Amex. Is that business though? Or, or, like they're maybe using a business card. No, it's a, tip he's, max he's, he's old. Percent. He's old. No, he's an older well, guy. He's old. Like he, he, it's a platinum Amex. That ain't no business card. Right. A yeah. platinum he, Amex. He, 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 he ain't working with nobody. He ain't working with nobody. You had some change on you. If you can that thing tip his and the dollar. And the dollar oh, technically it's eleven dollars, so I'm like y'all do the math. Like it's appropriate, but it's a, also at this stage in the game, it's actually kind of disrespectful. I think you're yeah. lower than five dollars. So oh, like, I, I don't care if your food only came to five dollars. The least amount you should tip is it's five dollars. Yeah. I agree, and that's all. And, and, and I think that might just be us. Yeah, because we yeah. Know yeah. The right. Yeah. right. I agree. I agree. So let's talk bar etiquette. Right. Oh, I'm bad. I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> it ain't about ours because obviously we're seasoned folks. Uh, you know, it is what it is. We know what the fuck going on. Right. But I have a pet peeve with the bar because I feel like sometimes people think that because they're sitting at the bar, they're gonna get faster service. Okay. Oh, oh. I think that sometimes too. And oh, you're but, but no, you're not getting you're not, <laughs> yeah, exactly. you're not getting you're not getting faster service if you sit at a bar, especially a big bar, if it's a full bar and there's one bartender. You're not getting faster service. And the restaurant's on a wait and you see they're on right. a forty five minute wait, so you so run, you to, run the to the bar. bar. Right. 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 And you think stuff. that you think that we're gonna run around and rip and run for you when there's Forty other motherfuckers sitting there. That's, right. That, let, sorry, and we're on a way. We probably didn't want you. Did and you I know? Know. Well, that's, <laughs> that's yeah. But if I go sit at the table, I feel like I'm going to get faster service than if I go sit at the bar, full bar. But I, I mean, feel my like service people really, just people on me. really don't understand that. They, don't. they think it's a fast service situation. Yeah. Well, you know what though? And this is the realization. You got to real. You have to realize. No matter where you sit, it's going to be the same it's, because. Yeah. Exactly. If you're, if you're waiting on your drink, the bartender is making drinks for everybody sitting out in the restaurant yeah. and everybody sitting behind the bar. Oh, so it really doesn't patient. matter Absolutely. if you And at the you, bar. on top of all that, yeah. asking them for something. The drinks are coming out whenever the tickets come in. So if I got two tables, the tickets right here, and you just sat down, these two tickets these are priority. These hey, are baby, priority. I got, Facts. I'm coming. Yeah, and then right. that drink is gonna come after I finish these tickets. And y'all, you're making like five drinks at a time, so you're making drinks for the servers, for the bar. You know what I mean? It's six drinks. That's, and you know, you're sitting in front of me, and you see me doing it. Patience, 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 patience is the faster. most respected aspect of someone's personality right. when they're in the Absolutely. Patience. Patience. If you don't have patience, and when you're coming into an establishment that is not a fast food establishment, maybe be lying for the dough. Go back to the parking lot, get in your shit. <laughs> or order to go. And drive home. Just like that. That's it. You can but that's it. If you have good patience, you'll understand that your bartender is going to fuck with you. Because we see that you have some patience. And so we're like, you know what? I always she tell people, thank you she for your chill. Chill. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank says that, and I definitely feel that. Extra. And we always make sure, especially when we're swamped, we always make sure, like, we touch base and at least drop right. some waters down. Just drop some waters down. Make a little eye contact. Uh, hey, <laughs> hey, baby, I got to take care of these people. I just saw you sit down, here's some water. I'm going to be with you in one moment. That is that's it. it. Right. That is it. Communication. That's it. Well, I'm ready now. Right. Like, how would you? Hold on, hold on. I already know what I want. I think that's great. Hold on, I'm gonna come take care of you in a minute. Because, and also, as a bartender, you gotta be able to control your shit. I don't let these motherfuckers control right. me. Right. I control the bar. You don't control me. I control the narrative here because this was the boss, me. And if you don't like it, not you. Don't. And, and you get the fuck up, and you're gone. And I was, I was. Taking, you know, taking their order now. Um, I got all the drinks. I was like, okay, I'm gonna grab the drinks. We want to put our food in. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm going to get your drinks. 
And then I'll push your food in. I'm one in the show, baby. I ain't Not gonna lie. As a customer, sometimes I am guilty of that because in my mind, it's like I already know what I want. Y'all might be busy. If I can just go ahead and get this to you, you ain't got But to are you it. rude if the oh, server no, no, no. communicates right. that they need? You know, is you know? as a customer, I'm gonna be nice as fuck because of course my thing is it's got to be reverse roles right. for me. When I'm when I'm working, it's like let me treat these folks how I would want to be treated if Absolutely. I'm sitting down. So when I'm sitting down, it's like I know what these folks is going through yeah. because I've been in this position. So let but me be. I'm gonna yeah. be like, I'm. I'm it was like ten people, so I'm like, man, let me go grab these drinks for y'all. That's the difference. Drinks. That's, and that's what it was like. It was like a ten. Right. This was Saturday. It was a ten time, and mm -hmm. I was like. And I sat the drinks down. I got her. I mean, it's like a it's like a course that you got to do, man. Like, or if man gonna know what that course. course. It's yeah, right. Yeah. Drinks, yeah. Appetizers, and if you don't, if you don't yeah. want an appetizer, that's, that's fine, y'all. You don't want the appetizer, that's cool. But get the water, get the drink, go through the menu, and then let and feel give, give them if grace. You can put it all right, in. that's if it. That's it. Only two people. We're running the show. Point blank. Period. We're running the show. Period. So, if you require a lot of attention, please sit at his table, not at my bar. <laughs> or um, have a lot of tips. Or just have extra tips. <laughs> <laughs> if you require that much, please be able to know that your pockets and that bill must reflect all your neediness. And that's just on Talk the game, period. Right. Okay. Um, another thing, as a bartender, y'all come in this bar and y'all want to drink and y'all want to kiki, you buying bitches drinks. You trying Ooh. to show off, oh. and you oh, can't. Yeah. And, 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 and it could go one of two ways. One, handle your liquor. Okay. Two, please handle your handle liquor. Handle your liquor. We're and not your babysitter. I'm not your babysitter. I'm not here to hold your hand. I got ten other motherfuckers I got to take care of. If you want to keep drinking these drinks, I am going to stop you at some point, and I'm also going to give you a water. I'm going. I'm going to pitch you. I'm going to pitch you. Right. I'm going to pitch you the fuck out right. because God forbid, on my watch, something right. happens to you when you exit. That's on me. That's on the business. So that's that's just safety first, period. Drinking responsibly. But right. I mean, we all know how that go. And then also, too, if you're picking up tabs from motherfuckers and buying all these drinks, keep in mind, you're buying all these drinks. Don't be shocked when you get the when fucking you that tab, oh, I hate that. Don't be, don't Whoa. look like. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Remember you had. He oh, not, not, I, I ordered I said, I know everything that you ordered and everything that you ordered is in the system. And oh, it's on people will try to play you. It's on the time. People will try to play you. You ask you at you, you and what do I do? Um, oh that's your bill. Hi, that hi, right. no, no, that's your bill. Oh, you have an issue with the bill? Hey, I'm gonna grab my manager so he can run back the camera. Right. Just like that. So he can run back the camera because it happened last week. It happened last week. It ran back them cameras and got that shit paid. So, yeah. kind of on that note about, you know, people taking people's tabs or whatever in the more so like nightlife industry, mm. when it comes to that, you have to be mindful of people who say, oh, I'm on his tab. Yeah. Oh, my yes. God. Yes. 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 be like, he has my drinks. And then as soon as you take that, I don't know that this ticket, he'd be like, like who these for? Like, no, no, no. They get that. They get that. And oh, and let me, let me say this. <clears throat> I ain't gonna name drop, but I'm gonna <laughs> some promoters in the city, Atlanta, <laughs> that will be quick to be like, oh, she won't do, she won't that. Is she right. let, let her get this, she won't that, and then as soon as you bring him the tab, he like, I mean, I ain't say I was paying for. So why are you ordering all her shit? And we aren't stupid. Why, why? Don't yeah. and then, word it in a way, especially that we if don't take you. As, but the, this is the thing, especially if you're promoting at a spot and this is your night, mm -hmm. so you're allotted a certain amount of money, whether it's a hundred and fifty dollar tab right. or two hundred dollar yes. tab. So if you exceed that tab, don't act brand new when a motherfucker Had tells that you, "Hey, too. this is what the fuck is going on. This is what was ordered." Even that with musicians with the, that the, work at a restaurant, they're allowed a certain amount of food. So bro, oh, right. But you act. If you spend three hundred dollars, the food will be three hundred dollars. And you, man, look, and you want to leave, like, you want to throw a funky ass five down? And you done spent a eight, I want an extra lot to tell. I don't rat, I don't rat, please. <laughs> I didn't want to get to the auto rat part, but I am okay, with, and I understand now the auto rat situation in Atlanta. I've gone to your establishment, your old establishment, and sat down and had a meal by my goddamn self and seen the auto rat and the service fee. And I said, bitch, I thought it was a, a, a meal for two people. Right. Really? Baby girl. What do you mean auto rat and service so fee? So there's a I service fee. There's a list. So a couple yeah. of restaurants. Who's receiving this service fee? I we, guess you, would the the house. you would think it would be the work. The work. Like, but the it goes to the house. It goes to it the goes house. To the oh, house. Yeah. It goes to the house. So he told us that that's his way. No name drop it. No name. The service fee is his way of paying the DJs, the security, 
um, miscellaneous people oh, like that. Exactly. So, I guess so he's probably accumulating I guess it makes sense. I, yeah, it makes sense. But his, um, I guess it, it really depends on how the establishment is. Because as a customer, if I'm paying an auto grant and the What are you fee, doing? Right. Like, yeah. like, dang, that's a lot of money. Especially right. when the service fee is damn near the $2, same. $3. For, $3. Yeah, yeah it's, it's different if they make it a certain dollar amount. But when you're doing a percentage. No, it was percentage. He was doing a percentage. If it was like a cover charge. Yeah, like right. I had never seen. And I see. I mean, I've been to other establishments, especially after, you know, while during the pandemic. But, you know, a lot of restaurants are trying to recoup their money mm -hmm. from, yeah. you know, being closed down and stuff like that. That. And I noticed when he, on that receipt, I said, what the fuck? I said, well, I won't be buying lamb chops here again. Right. Because, you know, a service fee, you put a 3 $4 service fee on every ticket, that makes sense. But yeah. if you're doing 20% plus uh, your auto grab might be 18, it's like, Oh, damn. Yeah, damn. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of service. So, no, the no, music no, doesn't change based on no, percentage. No, so, no, why? No, 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 like, it literally was right. the lamb chops, a crown apple, and it was a $78 tab. For me, yeah. See now that that makes for me. Yeah. That's like that. It's yeah. a service fee, though. That's, but that and even working to... in the industry, like being somebody who works there, you have to question stuff like that. You that's the type of stuff you want to bring to your management because it's like, sir, if you're doing this, I understand you need to like make money to be able to pay people. But when people see stuff that is non like, let's just say the service fee is attached, but auto grant isn't. Now they like, well, I done paid this service fee. Exactly. I'm not, I'm not paying another $10, 15 for, for gratuity or, well, gratuity. hey, does that service fee go to you? No, no, it doesn't. And they think they're like, she probably lying. And that brings you back to restaurant culture. And it's right. a big don't mm -hmm. ask, don't tell type of culture it is. where mm -hmm. they don't want you to say nothing or oh, talk bad saying. about the establishment. Don't talk bad about the establishment, but I ain't got a problem saying what I got to say because I'm like, listen, at the end of the day, <laughs> When a certain situation happened at our bar the other day where our manager did not handle the customer yes. in an appropriate manner. Huh? I had to go save face because I done did all this motherfucking work and they want to leave and not pay their tab. So you know what I had to do? Go save face. Save the day. Mm. Save at least half of the bill. Right. And the bitch still got a tip because you know I'm gracious, honey. <laughs> this is what I do. We but not, but, right. but yeah. not a lot of people could do that because you've called your not manager. You've called your mm -hmm. manager to facilitate something that was dead fucking wrong, and he couldn't even do that. And now they made an uncomfortable environment right. for you they, again. And they, yeah. you've made it uncomfortable for us. And now, because I have a fucking fantastic personality, <laughs> I just smoothed it and out. Our managers are good at that. At, at messing shit up. They, oh, they're, they're, that's why I had to. I'm gonna sip, I'm a sip on that one. one. That's yeah, why I had too. to leave because. I had to do too much managerial right. duties mm -hmm. when I wasn't my right. manager. I'm right. like, yeah, I'm, you know, mm -hmm. pay me manager rates and let me collect my tips if you want me to handle all of the, the issues that happen. Right. Like, Absolutely. if something happens on the floor and the waitress is fucked up, it's me that got to go say today because my manager or my no, owner. No, no. Yeah, and <laughs> right. I and MIA. MIA. And now they're looking at the bartender like, well, that's all you're going to do? Like, I mean, it's only really so much. much I can do. And I'm going to try to say and, and, Again, another thing as the bartender, people think because you behind the bar or whatever the case may be, it's like a hierarchy or something like that. I ain't a mother. It, 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 it is. A little. It is a little because there are certain aspects of the bar that you know you can a lot of more responsibility. More responsibility. Yeah. But yeah. also, things that are happening in that kitchen. I'm over here signing drinks. That is out of my control. That don't really? got nothing to I'm do with me. I'm not here with y'all. I'm sitting here with you talking to you. I've been waiting as long as you for this food. <laughs> I'm only grabbing you too. Think, you think I can go back there and finagle crab legs or whatever the fuck? Like, that don't got nothing to do with what I got going on. Right. But when it's an issue with food, I go get a man. My, my right. food's cold. Go get a man. Absolutely. Go get a man. I'm not right. even dealing with right. that. I done did my job. And, and sometimes I feel customers, there's a misconception about how the restaurant hierarchy works. And what goes on in the kitchen goes on in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I don't got man nothing to do with your bartender yes. and your Hennessy or drink. Your and that's just on oh. who? Period. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, okay? Oh. And, listen. So, I've worked in establishments where it's like, the best tips, the best treatment, all of that. I feel, and you guys could jump in and let me know how y'all feel about this. Mm -hmm. Since COVID has hit and Atlanta has been very fucking open, mm -hmm. I keep saying that. I keep saying that on every, 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 every episode. Very open. I yeah. say that Atlanta's pretty open. We are busting we're, up the trash. We are busting up the baby. Um, 
I feel like the industry and the clientele has very, very much so lessened. It is really. Like, I I feel so. Ooh, I no. feel. I think that I, I try to step up for some reason. I I, too, I, feel, I feel like the industry. I feel like the industry is a little bit like. Well, as far as not our establishment. That was say like. Not our establishment because I went to I went to a said establishment, baby. Shout out to Roxo. Hey. Um, love, 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 Chef B. Harper, all of that good stuff, baby. But they shit was together. Like, I mean, they are organized, efficient, and I think it depends oh, on I the, love that. the I love establishment, the establishment. Staff owners and yeah. managers yeah. and yeah. management yeah. team. Mm. I mean, it said verbatim, if you're sitting at the bar, $100 tabs will have an auto gratuity. And that brings me back to the auto gratuity part. Because what? So, go back. What you just say? It's a hundred dollars. A hundred dollar tab has an auto autograph on it. But I think that's that mentioned, nationwide. That's mentioned no, like on the. No, it's it's on there. I've took. That's I've taken very it. important. I've taken a picture of it and I've sent it to my manager and owner because yeah, I needed I them motherfuckers. To, in the group I needed to do that. I needed. I needed, I needed. I needed them motherfuckers to know, and it wasn't even for us because me and JoJo, we we be all right. But for y'all, I said, no, 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 no. This is unacceptable. Because yeah. I've seen a young lady walk, a great server, walk off of her job because she had a $300 tab, did all this the work. Day. All Yes. All this work for these motherfuckers, say. and they tipped her. They're in there buying no douce, taking shots for no the money. gram, this, that, that. You gonna okay. put three crumble ass dollars on the table? Three dollars. Three dollars on three hundred dollars. Type of people. Ratchet. Niggas. Bro, they, but they but they was acting flashy like they had money. Oh, they didn't even I'm look flashy though. So I guess it was, was that. I was gonna say that that's disgusting. Yeah, that's is, very disgusting. And I think that. Oh, I got it. I just don't want you to come up. Like, yeah. right. Oh, I got money. I got this. I got right. that. And then when it's time to tip, they only even tip. That's like pull out three couple dollar bills. Like you got this. You got this young girl running. You running her down. Extra ranch. Extra sauce. Extra this. Extra that. And she's doing everything for you. And that's how you tip her. So I feel like. <laughs> establishment owners, y'all need to take a little bit more accountability and stop fucking trying to skim the fat for your pockets and yeah. make sure that your people are good because oh, the yeah. damn the the revolving door of the restaurant industry and keeping good people. Everybody's like, oh, we can't keep good people. We can't keep Don't good people. Don't be shocked about people stealing if you're stealing Mom, from your people. You know, if, if you're treating your core staff members a certain kind of way. Exactly. Come on. They have the best Treat service. them good. They're going to do their fucking best. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I've worked in establishments where these managers held had our backs, held it the fuck down, and we held it down for them. Period. We all got to eat. Oh, yeah. We all oh, got to yeah. eat. So, I have a question for y'all. Um, <clears throat> Demographic-wise, do you feel like establishments that you have worked in, like, does the demographics determine Absolutely. the Absolutely. type of treatment? Absolutely. Marietta, that's where we are now. This is Marietta. I feel like, when I feel like Marietta. I'm going there, I feel like I am going to the project. I say it all the time. Where are you? Where are we at? Where is that room? Where are you? Specific. Well, but you gotta understand something too. It's like the projects. But, but no. no. I think I, so. Kim Creek is not the project. I would say going but, to some establishments in the same city. But when we were working in Atlantic Station, okay. okay. Yeah, in and the clients tell me, they're like, okay, and then coming out here, and the same thing. It's a different vibe. I like it because we got the music. But where are you going? But that's the thing. 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 That's the thing from the folks that are tired of the other establishment True. that is similar to ours, mm -hmm. and they come in True. your co competition across the, the competition street. across the street. We're getting their backwash. We're getting their extras. We're getting the ones but they that always say they like ours better. And well, the, no, no, but they, it but is they, though. But they do like ours better. That's but that's the thing. They like our establishment better and what we got going on. But it's. I mean, you gotta understand. We got the 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 families. We got the ones that are not working. We got the ones that are on a budget. We, you know, we we're getting every walk of life through that particular restaurant. Mm -hmm. So in comparison to a battery, where you have all these expensive um, uh, apartments that are surrounded in condos, and yeah. you're right by the Brave Stadium. So yeah, there that clientele. No shame, no tea. A lot of niggas ain't just going up and through there on yeah. a Tuesday. Like, I, like, we'll roll up in there on a oh, Tuesday yeah. and, and th b blow a bag. The average nigga ain't doing that. No shade, no tea. Yeah. No shade, no tea. Yeah, we had one. I went to a birthday party. You was with me, Joe. Remember, they was like, we shut down early. Like, oh, yeah. Remember, yeah, like, yeah. a Tuesday or uh -huh. Wednesday or something? Yeah. And they were like, we just gonna shut down I, early. I so it wasn't packed. Here, it just depends on exactly where you going. Yeah. Because, 100%. Um, yeah, it's, it, there are some more, even that little cigar bar up here on the corner. 
Where at Three Valley Cafe? No, 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 that one. In y'all's class, watch yourself up. Nah, y'all got me thinking. I haven't been there, but I heard it'd be lit. It'd be lit. I think, but it's an older there. But I think their I think their management takes care of them. Their management handles themselves very, very well. They handle a well established. It's so organized and established, y'all. Like the fucking food. Every time the damn food come out, bruh. Every time I got in there, I had a blast. I was smelling like a fucking cigar, baby. But I've had an amazing (laughs) time every time. There's some grown men in there that like to spend their money. (laughs) I was like, I might get a job there. But no, for real. Like it just really depends on how you're organizing your business and handling. You know, you you, especially establishment that that roll on. How well the customer? Well, not your customers, your employees, right? Right. Really good developed establishments. I think they take better care of I do. Them. And I think you spoke on a topic that no one's brought up, which is also your money can very much so. I've seen as a bartender working in teams and training people be affected by your coworkers, yeah. your clientele, the vibe, the relationship you have to management and to your oh, other yeah. employees. That yeah. all plays into a factor of how your money is how played to do. I remember I had a white family in there and you know, I think Meek Mill was on, he had his little son and he was like, yeah man, you might, you think y'all can change that music? And I'm like, you know it's a club, man. You know, yeah. 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 It's straight yeah. like a club and you got, you brought your little five-year-old in here, you talking because you, you know how to change it, 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 the music. It's great, it's a restaurant, but Democrat? The Democrat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, absolutely. If you want that service, you need to go up. I work, so I work, no, but then also, it's funny. I work at a spot downtown that I will not mention because they don't deserve my, um, <laughs> they cloud. don't deserve the cloud on the Me To Be podcast, honey. <laughs> so, and I still go there. I still eat there. I still have friends that, you know, patronize, you know, whatever. But their, their, their demographic is hood. They're in the bluff. So this shit is hood regardless mm. of which. So no, you're trying absolutely. to be super classy. Exactly. Yeah. Me too. So you're trying, to be, yeah. you're trying to be super classy and play jazz music all motherfucking day, but then you got oh the niggas that look like fucking Kodak coming in there to do your water. Too. It I don't it don't too. resonate. Yes, you're gonna get the white folk that's gonna come up in there during the day and you know the eat lunch front, there right. because guess what? You are right across from Mercedes Benz exactly. Stadium. You're going to get the coaches from the Seahawks that t- that tip yeah. amazingly. Hallelujah, yeah. thank you, Jesus. <laughs> You're going to get that 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 flow, but your but core, your core, your, core, your customer, roots. Yeah. your roots. That jazz music, baby, turn that off and just play the little baby. They you might as well. <laughs> you might as well. You might as well because I just I just don't understand. I I just don't get it. I don't get it. Now, should we intersect? With maybe something positive, a positive experience we've each had. Well, I, I was gonna get to the overall etiquette. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The overall etiquette. So I, was I need, I need everybody to understand something. Your server and your bartender is not your motherfucking slave. Oh. Okay. Please. There's something to be said. Be There's something to be said about somebody that works in the industry that's handling food and handling your drink. Be respectful. Your food and be, your be drink. Kind. You be kind. Be respectful. Be kind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you having a bad day? I, I made a motherfucker smile because you're going to have a good day. If you sit right. up here, like this girl, she was like, I'm so tired. She done brought me out. I said, oh, sis, you came up here with the mm, face. And she started dying laughing. Yeah. Because I wanted her to know how your face looked at yeah. my bar. And we happy and we kick in. Right. Cut that we shit out. We're about to have fun, sis. <laughs> Come on, let's have you fun. You can be a part of that. Yeah. You want to be down? Okay, and, and you gonna come back to and see me, right? Yes. And that's just that. You that's know? how you, that's how you build your clientele. Because the best thing as a bartender or a waitress is your clientele. Yeah. So you to have a customer come back and be like, oh, I'm can can I get in such and such section, or um, I'm gonna wait on her to serve me. Like your clientele. Once you build like a relationship, like if you are really nice to a customer, they will always, always. Always. Now, Always. So now, now me and JoJo's cheer clientele because JoJo's clientele was so mean to me when I started. And I was <laughs> but like, who has your back? That relationship with your employees. Absolutely. I make sure everyone yeah. knows. And that's the thing. And that's, care, and that's the, take and, care of my people. And that's the thing. Like, they be like, oh, JoJo ain't here today. And I'm like, I'm here today. Me so what's up? Yeah. yeah. So it just was always a, a thing where I just kind of made sure that I... Let them know. Well, JoJo's not here today. I'm here now. This is, you know, when he works and this is when I work. So, you know, what do you drink? You have something other bartenders don't know. You have tenacity. You took that time. You wait. Some people get some literally and took, they leave. I literally took that time. You, you and I, I was like, bitch, I'm fucking cute and I can be yes. a drink. Like, I'm not going to sit here and let.
what? You bully me when exactly. I came here I to pay my fucking car note. Anytime it's a new bartender that it comes does. in. It does. That's why I tell like, everyone. It's not bar. just you. It's Let's everyone. Say they gave me hell. Yeah, they okay. yeah. <laughs> they want to fuck with the bartender that's been there because that's the bartender that's okay, why. Hook you they hook them drinks. They hook them up. Give them a little extra elbow. A little elbow action. A little stronger. They're comfortable so they have my because you done been absent two days, you know, like the shit's done changed a little yeah. bit. Now, now, now y'all cool. Now, all, they all, now, 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 we're they all love you. fucking cool. Because like, like, our last establishment, me, me and this one girl used to go at it all the time. She'd be like, that's how much Hennessy I get for a shot? I'm like, girl, yes. That's and how much what? Hennessy. Well, such and such give me more. Well, such I can't such control such that. Here. Right. I just started, I'm going to do what's going to right. me in my job. Right. Right. And you can't but be mad at someone for that. The for doing your job. She kept coming back. She kept coming back. Even though she knew the other bartender wasn't going to be there, she kept coming back. So eventually, oh. she was like, you know what? You all right. I say what I said. Yeah. Some bitches, I just be like, cause you know I'm cute, so they just having a moment, like of damn, course. like and that's they're young, like, uh, like, like damn, mean. they're like damn, like this is what I used to look like, this is what I used to be. I know, I, I get it, but um, neither here nor there. But you're I'm still gonna make your fucking drink. I'm still gonna make that motherfucking drink. Drink. Bitch, I'm still gonna take a shot with your ass, even though you're miserable. And, and we're gonna have a great time. And we're gonna have a good time. I'm gonna treat you good, cause I'm. I want, you, I want your money, baby girl. And from a customer standpoint, I always say you should build a rapport with your Absolutely. partner. Right. Absolutely. Definitely build a rapport with your partner. And because don't come and think because that motherfucker might treat you away and then you don't know yeah. if you like where you like to eat because this is what you like exactly. to eat. Exactly. And we all know that you cheap and we all know that you got an attitude. <laughs> baby, we're going to be like, mm, here. You need something else? I got a table that comes in there. It's like five. It's it's a guy, man. He comes in there. He has to have like four people with him. And I'm talking about they will run up a three hundred dollar check, and he will like really leave like ten dollars, and he's done it. That's sad. He's done it like he or he might like. And look, he came in the last time they came in there, and I walked up to the man. I said, "I'm not serving him." He's like, "What do you mean?" I was like, "Because they had me running." They run up a three hundred dollar bill, and I know they're gonna leave me ten dollars. I don't have to serve them. And somebody told me I didn't realize that you don't have to serve a table you don't want to serve. You them. don't. Oh, hell so yeah. I'm like you I'm don't. not serving. And he and he talked me into it, and you know, and I was just kind of pretty much rude to him. Like I was just doing what I need to do, no conversation at all. And um, they did me the same damn way. And I was like, I said, see, that's what exactly what I'm talking about. Right. I said, they ever step foot back in here. In I'm not serving. Yeah, I don't right. give a fuck if they're in my section or not. Right. I'm not fucking. I don't know if bartenders feel about that though, because I have that. I had that happen to me yesterday. I've been there over a year, and the guest who came in eight times, same couple, always leave either five, ten. I'm like three hundred or nothing. Damn. Or nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Each time I've shown them the most immaculate service. And you are just I don't so know gracious. I'm you're better than me. For that. I, no, you're more trying to maintain yeah. my job. Yeah. You're trying to you're yeah. your job and you're maintaining your cool. Sometimes there's only one bartender. So right. it's not like I can have someone else serve that. If it's another bartender, I'm like, you want to get them? You know? Right. And there's times JoJo be like, hey, you get them because I'm not dealing with that. Yeah. And there's times I'll be like, JoJo, go and get your friend because that bitch, she's not going to blow my high today. She's not going to blow my high today. Yeah, we take turns all the time. You can have that bitch. I don't. I'm not doing with her. Guys, really quick. Um, do y'all ever? Is it ever a problem or like men tipping men? One hundred percent. Absolutely. And I've seen it. I've seen them not tip. That's why I have y'all take all the. Yeah, I'll take a table full of women, and I tell the girl take a table full of dudes. Yeah, that's fine. I'd rather just do that. Now that's not everyone. I do want to speak on that. I've been blessed by plenty of men. Plenty, plenty of times. (laughs) Excuse me. Plenty of times, and they had immaculate service. They may have even been rude, but they still t- tipped well. Because they, they know that that's what they're supposed to be We all know what it is. Yeah, okay. right. they we know all that. know they what it is. A nigga ain't about, who wants a bad bitch, yeah. ain't about yeah. to tip me the $30 who right. would yeah. get you. You're going to you go take right. oh, yeah. right. I have to ask that because a lot of established, well, like club-like establishments, um, it's always been more females. Right. Yeah. Um, so Bible I've never, girls, yes, that never had that situation. Now, restaurants is never... Um, well, you know what? Um, Ant was working with me. That was the last time it was me and another dude in like an establishment like that. But he would definitely tell me like, hey, you got him? Like, yeah. And, I, and sometimes I tell him like, no, you get him. But I think because he knew it could have been like it's a It's maximized it profit. Sure. Like, Someone can make money off of him. You might as well make it. Well, yeah. the next it's all about now. reading the room, y'all. And if y'all in the service industry and you're still figuring out your customer base or figuring out how to deal with customers a certain way, tag team with your partner tag at team. work. So Partnership will save 
save your life. It's gonna save your life. You don't even have to get the tip. You but can't help you. Yeah. Right. Right. You, you can't. Tip. Right. Or if I see somebody with this, this like adult tip or sentence, I'm like, hey, tip goods will take care of. Oh, always. Oh, always. Jojo always tell me, oh, I go, hey, that nigga tip mad good. You straight. Right. I'm gonna let you know. He's good. He's good. And if you're a horrible tip, I'm gonna tell him you're a horrible tip. But don't fuck with him. They're gonna leave you two dollars. Right. But definitely. Yep. I'll tell him that too. Right. He's not. They're after they take him and serve him. I'll tell him. Hey, but then we don't give terrible service just because we know you a bad yeah, but, but it's going to be real minimal. That's, that's the thing. I got an older lady that come in all the time. She loves me and I love her. And, you know, she just don't know no better. Right. <laughs> and I'll give her everything she wants. And she'll be like, here, baby, here you go. And it'd be a little $5. Sometimes it'd I be a little $5. Having a conversation with her. I, 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 I don't have, I, I, I don't have the heart to say to this lady who's a little country and older to tip me better. Like, I'm not. I just do what I do. And, and she probably you know, can't afford it. It's it's right. it's Sometimes right. it's just nice to be nice. It's just, to you know, let me feed off of what JoJo just said. I have done that to like younger black females. One hundred percent. Oh no, younger women, absolutely. I know black yeah. girls. You gonna get this work? Right. Thinking, oh, there's some black girls, some black women. They not gonna tip. So let me just. You know, I ain't in a rush to get back to this table, but I still, as a Make customer, a yeah. I'm super. When I tell you, I I think I give great customer service as a customer. Right. Like I'm telling you, you thank you so much. Right. Like, you know, oh yeah, no problems, no worries. We're like that, time. especially when we got girls, because you know they already look at us like, oh, these bougie. I feel that way. Because for us, for us, because they see us walking and they be looking like, oh, yeah, they got to give us no more. Good, we trust we come from this industry. We know. Our girl servers and our girl bartenders, we treat them really, really well, and that's why they get to you fuck do with us. You definitely. You yeah. always say, you can go love, or you want to, yeah. I'm maybe everybody. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I'm nice whether I'm behind I mean, the bar or sitting sit down. down. Yeah, Absolutely. I know you can come in here with a bad ass attitude. We got a girl at Lily's, and we oh, love yeah. her to death. Even though that's even that, even that, even like, where she at, y'all? <laughs> She here today, but even if she not, and she still, always comes we to still us, make sure we show her love. Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Or if I just go somewhere and like, let's just say I'm just looking, like I might have a grill on or something. They be like, oh, this motherfucking nigga ain't about yeah. to tip. You don't know that this is what oh, I that do. This is what you do. I'm going to tip you excellently. But you yeah. already think, oh, he's not going to tip. He got a grill. He got and a chair. Yeah. 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 You don't yeah. know that this is what I do for a living. Person, I always thought, like, definitely. I remember when I was working at Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh. I, 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 I ain't gonna lie, I got fired. <laughs> <laughs> I had a group of teenagers come in on their prom night. And oh, they God. all ordered sodas. And that was it was it was Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm in college too. I yeah. was like, ain't I about to see if they they coming from prom or like one of their little school right. classes. They all ordered sodas. So me being nice, I'm just like, you know what? I ain't even gonna charge you for that sodas. And that came back to bite me in the ass. Because oh. I was like, you ain't charging the folks for that sodas. Oh, man, you know, loves the nickel and dime, right. Damn, like, but I just, my thing was, oh, they ain't gonna tip, granted, they didn't. They was kids, but that didn't mean I was not gonna give my best service. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, know? you, you never know, also. That's one thing yeah, you learn in this industry. You never know. It could crew. be exactly. Like, oh, my mama left me $20. I'll That's take care of everything. I didn't know how to tip in high school. Yeah, I did right, we didn't know. We didn't know. I hope they had. We to probably would be like, we probably give like a little dollar, two dollars. Like you didn't know nobody. Right, two dollars. So oh, y'all, yeah. so which plays into the importance of autograph. Autograph. And we <laughs> I hope they had it. I hope to, they had it. We about to get to autograph right now because let's talk about like bigger groups. As a bartender. If it's ten of y'all, get your asses to a table. Don't come to my motherfucking bar. Uh, and Don't come to my motherfucking bar. You need three people sit at the come bar. Come on, and man. Four people standing. Why? Why? Even even if it's five of y'all, that's still a lot. Just five, I could deal with if they're regulars and I know. If, if, right, yeah. if, if you're a regular and you just have people trickling in you to get a shot or whatever, or right? Like that's, that's different. Good. But like y'all really about to dine because y'all don't want to wait for a table. Because you don't want to wait for a table. And then you're gonna take up all that space at the bar and then you want to run me? Don't do that. That's a one-on-one -on -one thing, y'all. You wait for your table. Do not take up the whole bar. Or don't the go bar. out with 10 people. Or the right. bar and have a drink while you're waiting. Right, have a drink, and, and which is fine. Which is fine. Just go to the bar just, and have you know, a drink or two. And, 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 and also, if it's a group of y'all, if it's a group of y'all, do not wait four or five, four or five of y'all coming in. Y'all know the motherfucking establishment close at 10 o'clock. Y'all pull up at 9.30, 9.45. You're asking for bad service. And you're asking for bad service. Automatically. Asking for bad service. I'm curious to hear this. You're asking for bad service. 
for bad service. So my last dude, he would always be like, "Now nah, we can't go there. They about to close in thirty minutes." Okay, they close in thirty minutes, but if we go in right now, well, what about their kitchen? Server. And what how do you, you approach it? Kitchen? Do you go up there saying, "Hey, I know y'all are about to close. I'm gonna tip you nice, then this is gonna be a good experience." I should tell you, I'm gonna tip you nice. See, that's where. But no, but that's, that's why I, I, I can tell you, I'm tipping. Not, you not, nice. necessarily, not necessarily, but like you know, let it be known that you you're cognizant that you're, you're they're cognizant. Open. That motherfucker's why they see my demeanor, my attitude, everything. They I'm not coming there like, bitch, send me down. I'm, I'm no, at least right. they will fucking sit there and yeah. they know good and well that you are fucking wiping shit down, pulling shit off, and they're sitting there and they're looking sure. at you like. And also, are they chilling or are they right. asking for the most? There's a lot right. of ways well, that yeah, scenario can go. It's, 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 so, what's really the time that you wouldn't go? I mean, you go like 15, 20 minutes. Right. Yeah. 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 So, you should be. You want to go like 30. Person. I like to. 30 minutes is different. 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes is different. But the thing about it, I like to sit and dine. So, I know if it's. I know if I go 30 minutes before close, like, I, I can't be in there trying to order lamb chops with two sides oh, and two right. or three drinks because right. I'm not going to be able to enjoy it. And your potatoes exactly. might be cold. Well, exactly. You're be cold. Yeah, yeah, but I know, like, if, if I'm just out riding, like, okay, let's hit this spot real quick. We can get an appetizer and a drink or two. And That's understandable. Like, and I never get mad at that. Yeah, so but I'm not going to sit you and know? wine because I like to sit. I like and to drink, to right. and I like to eat, and I like to talk. Like I like to do all that, so I'm not gonna do that 30 minutes before close. Right. So that sounds quick, like you yeah. want to buy so quick, coming yeah. on so yeah, time. Yeah. It's not on close right. time. But know? no, I, I I can agree. I it's it would be stupid for it's somebody to come in as well. and Sunday I have because it's wiping the sections and you coming in trying to do a, a whole hour and a half <laughs> right. situation. Yeah. Like, and yeah. and, and yeah. that yeah. shit. I don't mind the bars, the, the motherfuckers that's drinking and they still there drinking. That's different. But when you got a whole plate of food, baby, you don't got the whole spread. And You're backing up. Me, come on, the bus is behind. You throwing me behind now. And, and, and you're and you running me back? Can I get an extra ranch? Can I get no. a discount? No. <laughs> I'm going to give it to you, but goddamn. I would, I would give Sunday it to you. <laughs> and and um, when I got up there, they asked me for my phone number. And I was like, well, how long is it going to be? And you couldn't give me a time. So I was like, all right, we'll bet. So they had a lemon so of course I went and got my glass and we drinking. Is we that out. when you sent the group picture of that one girl? That was that was the one that was laid out. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> that was the previous <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> right. Yeah, that was a dope ass spot. But no, I went to. Uh, I said I went to Red Pepper. Oh, 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 yeah, but oh, it was oh, it was oh, yeah. it was packed. We were walking yeah. up with two people that was in this man. It's just too packed, and I'm like, well, let's just go in there. And so we got our lemon mimosas and we in there and we turned up and. I mean, at that point, they called me and they was like, we got your table. We was like, we don't even want it no more. Like, we yeah. had one at um, Atlantis after that. But, you know, I mean, it was just like, because they didn't have a table, I'm like, oh, I'm not about to leave. They said, no, I went to the bar, got my own mimosas, was drinking my drinks, and that's how it went down. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So, again, if they don't have your table ready, the six of y'all, everybody just go get a drink or a shot and just chill and relax. You got the music on. Kick you. Right. Don't expect, like, the restaurant's open for you. It's just, it's just, it's not, I don't know, there's just a level of arrogance for me. I'm like, is it the food that great? Like, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I, yeah. Well, let's talk real quick before we wrap. I got another story about the gratuity too, <laughs> because I had a six top the other day and there was a lady and, that's what I, I and I'll be about. honest, it was Bigger like, parties, it, was, it, was a, it was a lady and a, a lady maybe her age and it was a guy and they had like three kids with them. The kids probably like five or six and um, they built got up to probably about like 275 and so um, the gratuity was put on there and I gave it to her, she's looking at it. I could tell she had an attitude about it. I need, that's what I wanted to say. And about. Um, I was, she was just like, well, what is this? I was like, it's gratuity for six or what more. Is this? And she's right. like, and what was the gratuity? 18%? Yeah, it was 18%. The fact that someone even gets up that's, that's, and, and that's, what I wanna, that's, that's what I want to do That's what I that's what I'm talking about. Like, it's six or more people. You allotted a certain amount of money so in, to what buying she a tab, like bringing up a tab of food. She said. Well, this is not going to. This is separate checks. So because it's separate checks, it doesn't matter. It's still add up. It's still add up. You put gratuity on six or more. Every check is still so guys, when you guys are going out and you have six or more people sitting at a table, regardless, and, 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 and it's not even about the food. It's 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 about the food. It's
and I got overwhelmed. It's a lot. It's a lot, it's a lot to remember. Bad, how said, said, everybody if has. You do not go to that table. If you take that gratuity off the table, I'm walking the fuck out oh the door. Oh my gosh, I hate right it. And that's the thing. He didn't take it off. Though. He didn't take it off. Have your bag. He did. Yeah, and that's 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 the thing. Like you can't sit here and have all these people sitting down and they think that oh they're not gonna pay this tip. Like if y'all got. So you want to leave me five dollars on two fifty? That's what you're mad about. This is, I think, that's an etiquette. That, that is an etiquette thing that you should just fucking know off the of rip. Right. Living in Atlanta, though, I just feel like in the metro Atlanta cities, I feel like when you go out to eat anywhere, you should just automatically should assume know. that there is this going is a to be a volume area. There are some places Known that you can that you cannot even go to. Well, you go to a place in the city, even with. If you go by yourself, it's automatic. Right, right. right. And it's, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, there's certain establishments, and I'm I'm going I'm to say it out loud. A lot of black establishments are putting an auto rep because they know their clientele. Yeah, we need to do it. That ain't no shit. That ain't no shit. If y'all were already tipping good, you wouldn't have to worry that's about right. it. You know, right, right. right. And, I love, right. and I love a customer. Like, I had a six top. Yeah, I had a six top and was working in the morning on oh, Saturday morning. Baby, they was early. They got kids. They wanted to have their lunch early. Baby, they had an autograph. The man tipped me better than the actual autograph that was on there. He checked hey, it off. Hey, he tipped me. Love, 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 love to the people who tipped me. I appreciate it. I'm not going to lie. And I'm not going to lie. If your service is stellar, especially around the metro Atlanta area, and I have autograph, I will tip you on top of autograph. Oh, you've done mm -hmm. your, I think that they put autograph in Lily's before, and we've tipped. I've tipped on top. So I'm just like, it is what it is. If you do what you got to do, anything on top is more than a But you know what? They stop. I think they uh, Lily's changed it to where you only get. They only get the auto right, which is cheating their employees. See, now right. that's the right. problem right. I have with yeah, right. industry. Sometimes they, they feel like they don't want it to seem like we don't want the guests to think we're gouging, we're over. No, no. be overzealous for your employees because yeah. that creates overzealous workers. Yeah. Which that, 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 that makes my motherfucker know, like, you know what? They got my back in here. They want me to make money. They want me to succeed. So this is, I'm going to go and Most do what definitely. I need to do here. Do y'all think our managers want us to make money? No, because they're upset that they're not fucking making money. I, <laughs> I, I have a little bit of disagree. I think no, that no, plays I, I, I would say, I would, I would into say, it. I would say this. Our owner, of course, our owner, I think he encouraged us to make money and to get the money. I think he likes when he sees that we exactly. he likes that seeing takes us, down that he'd be like, takes down he'd be like knowing that you're he'd like, that, yeah. they don't give you fifty dollars on top of this. Yeah, nigga. Right. Now like, they you always fight. make money. I, I, I had a manager that was a little jealous of the tips. I've, I've, and I've had, had, I've, had, 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 had I've had a manager. I've had a manager. I've had a manager. Literally hit me up in a text and was like, and don't be adding. Don't be adding your own tips and stuff. And I'm like, how now? How how would I do that? Like, right. yeah, that's, well, I'm you talking about fraud. Yeah. Like, nah, this is this man's signature. Like, this is how much he tipped me, and he gave me a cash tip. Like, baby, just because you ain't never seen none of your bartenders come in here and do that, don't mean I can't. Right. Because I know. I know that's how very to offensive too. Like, 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 I know how to we make build clientele. Want to tip you we let like these motherfuckers know. I don't care if it's if it's the girls that's in college to the nigga that's sixty two. Coming in just to drink his two glasses of Woodford and wants to leave. I'm baby, the way to get back. Baby, right. I, work, I work Wednesday night, Friday night, and Sunday night. Come see me. I don't give a fuck who it is. If I right. work with you and you treated me good at my bar and I know that I went above and beyond for you, baby, this is my schedule. Have right. to come see me. Text me, call me. Clientele. I just Clientele. had an opportunity to where I had the, uh, they wanted me to come back and manage, and I decided I didn't really want to do it. Well, fuck that shit. You know what I mean? Man, man, like, man, like, man, like, man, like, man, like, I mean, I feel like sometimes we make more money than that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Why would I do that for? Sure. I'm good. I think you know? managers and owners should realize if your employees are getting really good tips, then your business is going to It's flourish. It's going to flourish. Your employees want to come to work. And these folks are in here spending money. And that's the thing. Perfect. Like I said, when I went to uh, rock out and sitting at the bar. I don't know if it's at, I don't think it's at the table, but it said if you're sitting at the bar, bar is for bar patrons. If you're waiting for a table, please wait in the waiting Respect area. Respect to all establishments and that do that for their employees. Absolutely. Like, and that's a they, lot are and, too scared to run away And their bartenders, they can always get my money because they handle what they got to do. They handle themselves. They're so fucking efficient. I love it. But anyway, 
it said about the hundred dollars, a hundred dollar tab, added gratuity, whatever the case may be, auto automatically added gratuity. Should do. That's and it, it just makes sense. Like, it should be. It why are you sense. mad though underneath? That's, That's how I don't want to open it, a it restaurant. Just makes sense. You should do it. You have a gratuity key. You should do it because you're ensuring the, that your your servers and your bartenders make their money. You're making your money. The motherfuckers that everyone make, made they're, their they're money. coming right. in. They're regulars. They know what the fuck and is up. Okay. And they're, they're okay. They're okay. Not maybe on Tuesday they may just let the auto grab ride, right. but on Thursday a motherfucker may have just got his direct deposit and add more to the grab. This is good for everybody in the establishment. True. That's and it. you sat down, you wanted and deserved and expected an experience. There's Uber Eats, there's DoorDash, there's To Go, there's so many uh, places sure. where you don't have to interact Everything. with people who depend depend upon that tip to make their money. Right. It's not excusable anymore. It's not absolutely, no absolutely. Um, anyway, for the loudness that's in the next room. <laughs> so listen, for my viewers, my friends, and my family. Yeah, for friends and family that, you know, don't really understand. Like, understand that tipping is not something that, oh, you know, you just have to do it just because you want to do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all done heard what we make hourly. It doesn't matter if you just feed. Zero, call. baby. <laughs> <laughs> what? What do we make hourly? Oh, what you think? Oh, what you think that we make hourly like this ain't a desk job? But we're not making fourteen, fifteen dollars an hour. That's just not the case. This is not a salary based situation or industry. Um, so don't come with the idea that you're ordering all this stuff and that your servers are just, you know, your slaves. We're not your slaves. That's just not how that works. And we're usually not the ones to fuck with, honestly. Uh, honestly we're speaking, honestly, okay, exactly. fuck with us. Right. Like, 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 and especially your bartender. Like, baby, you do good by your bartender. Your bartender will always do good by you. That is just what it is. And I just think that a lot of folks just need to be a little bit more culturally savvy when it comes to handling and getting food and handling your you know your customer service experience and don't be a fucking asshole like right. bottom line don't yeah. be an asshole that's it don't be an asshole just because you don't have the coin if you don't got the money just say that <laughs> and we would probably still take care of you. I would never, if you someone was honest like, and said, I don't have the money, I would never make them feel I'm bad. Like, I don't hey, come from a lot. Or you'd be like, to a table somebody got like, like, hey, hey, like, Be what? like, hey, yo, I, I'm hungry as fuck. I really want this food right here. I want this on this menu. I only got $40. And I'd be like, well, I mean, do what you got to do. One of our servers bought a what homeless I'm a, woman what, a meal. What am I going to do? Tell you no? I can't tell you no. Right. Eat, nigga? The fuck? Just make sure the tax is included, though. <laughs> make, sure, make sure it's there. You know, in trouble. So yeah, you come to eat. Doesn't matter if your tab is ten dollars tip. Okay. The thing is, if your friends invited you out and you don't have the money, stay home. Don't go. Stay home. Don't go. You don't have money. Just say so. I've said it. I, this is probably gonna be the name of the episode, y'all. You got the money. Saved. And it feels good when you, you, you have like a table that you know is going to treat you right and tip you right. You're actually happy to see them. Right, like, absolutely. Like, absolutely. All my people coming tonight. Right, right. right. You, might, you, might, you, might, you might even get like a little hookup. Like right. you know what I mean? Like I mean, it's kind of hard for me to do it like on the floor, but I mean, there's a way that I can, you know, hook you up some kind of way. Right. 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 If you in the industry know how to show love, we know how to show love. If it's your birthday, we're gonna show you love. Don't come. Don't come in there with. Bitch with the attitude and all of that. Oh, Everybody gotta be on the same page. If it's Sheila's birthday, make sure Keisha, Nikki, and Tony all got a good motherfucking attitude at that <laughs> table. Okay? Because you're dealing with very bold people who depend upon their personality to make their money. So don't think you're about to approach someone weak. That's right. the last thing you're about to approach. And that's the that's the thing. I think I think folks really be thinking like you you coming into this industry, I'm spending my money with them. Mm -hmm. So they should be meek and quiet and just, you know, no, bow down to me. This. No, baby, that's just not how it works. Come in here, act right, act like you got some home training, right. some you was brought up correctly, and a, enjoy your fucking time. And I got one more thing I gotta talk about that just came into my mind. Like Last whenever a, a man and a woman is sitting down, I go to the table and the woman just completely orders everything for him and he doesn't say anything. That's a nigga that's not cold. That's a nigga. That's not cold. That's a nigga. <laughs> I mean, that happens. No, 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 I know. I just think no, it's um, weird. I like think, you're not I saying think, nothing. I like you're making me like that. I think it's like a big thing though. I think it's weird. Like it, and I also think that there's a lot of men, and I think I'm gonna say this to the Atlanta demographic that are not cultured enough to fucking know what size or what this person. What, so maybe, maybe, maybe what's the thing? We know how we we know we know what don't even know the name of the cut or, or so what it's you, okay. right. You don't right. know what it's made up of. So instead of you asking the waiter, hey, what's that thing y'all got that got the tomatoes and the <laughs> 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 
Maybe so I, it's because y'all already know what it is. Yeah, that's why you're like, okay. Like, it's because like, 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 I know what he wants. I found that kind of thing. Really? I'd be like, but, but, but also, you're very cultured. You work in this industry. You have a palate. You know what the fuck to eat, what right. to order. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of these men, they, they don't, don't got nothing. They don't want anything. My man likes hot shit that tastes like seafood. She's probably tired of taking this man out and he ordering chicken tender. So tonight, we're going to have to make it for me. I usually get a lot of it. I don't think it's like no superior thing. No, it's not. It's it's not. Either she already know the menu better than him, and he don't know what it's called. He just know what it's made up of. He don't know the temperature, how to order it like that. Like we just and it's vice versa. If a woman does it too. Like if a man just orders for a woman, it's that's, the same thing. That's actually yeah. that's actually really an old school. Yeah, like, that's an old yeah. school. That's yeah. actually yeah. something that you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. men yeah. used to order for their wives. When no, they they so have have start, if he ordered my drink, because I usually drink the same thing. That, that <laughs> now, baby, you know my drink. That's fine with me. No, I will not be having a long island. <laughs> 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 Nine times out of ten, the receipt has the gratuity on the bottom. Twenty or more on the bottom. Fifty, ten. Everyone sees it. If it's on the bottom, we know you saw it. Suggestions for the tips are: Please handle. If you spend more than hundred dollars and you're not tipping at least twenty, you probably should have not. These been motherfuckers will do it. Stay do it, but you probably shouldn't be out. Right. Are you in the show off when you ain't even have it? And that's the thing. And also, I, I mentioned this in the last episode that I was talking directly to the women. Listen, ladies, and I'm gonna say it again: Don't try to be cute and be a pick me picking up this nigga tab and you didn't tip appropriately because this was your date where he was supposed to pay your tab and now you stuck with a hundred and change on your fucking credit card and you're like damn and you won't get caught out. out we're all looking bitch, at you and telling our you done, you done, you done, you done, you done, <laughs> this bitch comes in here and picks up niggas tabs that ain't really fucking with her yes i said that in the last episode mm -hmm. ain't really fucking with you yeah, and you didn't even tip bitch you ain't even tip appropriately you didn't oh. even scratch oh, your, I have a question. you didn't even scratch the surface tip. so if if i go out with a dude right say so you know right before for some reason, every time it's time to leave, a nigga gotta go use the bathroom, right? Right! Here go me, here go me. I'm dead. Right, no, I do because that too. Because my thing is, though, if he didn't, I'm going to let him know, like, you need to give her some more, and then we're gonna have a talk about etiquette in the car, like. Have you ever had that happen? Um. Mm -hmm. I have. I don't even think it was I, a bad I saw it. tip. I, saw I don't it. think it was a bad tip, but I just, okay, you know what? I take it back. I have. I went out with this. One guy, I don't even know who the man is no more, but he just I don't, know, this, I don't know that man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who this man is. Um, he took me out and we went to hide. Um, so you you eating lamb chops and stuff oh, like that. Shit. So you need yeah. to tip. Mind you, I had this man we just left out of um Phipps. So oh, see, and that's that and that's that caption. So, um, you should be tipping. That speaks on the ethics then. Okay, okay, right. absolutely. You don't so give a fuck about these people. As soon as, as, soon as the tip trouble. came, he leave cash. But when he went to the bathroom, like I'm looking to see like how much he tipped. And if our food and drinks came more than a hundred dollars and he tipped it was more than a hundred, but it, he tipped like right in like Fifteen dollars, something like it wasn't twenty. So I was just like, we came back. I was like, that's all you gonna tip her, like, right? Hey, uh, cool, and right? Amen right. to the people who ask though. What that's you all you gonna because too many right. women. I'm so happy. I, so what I, yeah, he tipped more, but once again, I, I gotta talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you better, you better than me because I, I felt like in that situation I was a little scared. But he had went to the restroom and I, he was just running the girl, and it, it was driving me. Insane. I was like, she's going to spit in my pina colada. <laughs> I'm just so irritated with this man right now for his behavior, and I just feel so sick. I was just so irritated. That's embarrassing. So, that he had tip, and I luckily had cash that day. I gave the girl my 20, last $20, because I like that's just like the cash that I had at the time. So, when I stuck, stuck it right in there, like just. Yeah. Good for you. Because whether she knew it was me or not, I don't give a fuck. The karma. Did you still deal with him? 
Okay. We friends, but I don't. I never told him. Mm -mm. Listen to me. I, that nigga, that that ain't the type of nigga I need to be friends with. Exactly. exactly. So and, I, and I'm not having that conversation because I'm broke. Especially if it's places I visit frequently. It was. Like, it was like you like, was out here with broke. But listen, listen, listen. Tip higher, and we done. No, but this is the thing. Like you know, it was an okay tip, but from how you was treating her. Bitch, you should have tipped her way more than that. Exactly. So that's why I hit her with the 20 cash because I was just like, this is fucking whack. Like, I'm ill. And he it caused like, you anxiety. It, it, and then she didn't want to tip. I had such bad anxiety. I just felt terrible. I was like, my shit has been on all my fucking food. Like, this is horrible. And I made sure that she was good, but it was like, I could I was like, nah, that's ain't that ain't type of nigga yeah. I want to be around. And so be please, around with my friends. Take her now out, please. Too Make right. sure you tip well because that's something we, we look at. We look at that. Not even saying that it's like the people. whole like yeah. the money thing. Like I've it's also like, had a table before, so I sat down and they put the money on the table off top. Like yep. yeah, yeah. Like, no, like, you know, I took the care of the fuck. I no, let me tell you right. something. I got a nigga that come in here all the time. He he, he makes sure he gets. We gonna start this off. Yes, I'm gonna get the money. That's what I do. This for you. Let me get this, let me get that. He put his earbuds in and he be just doing yeah. his thing. Baby, yeah. I took my homeboy, I seen him one time. Ago. He put money down as soon as that. he sat down and he said, you know, it, it's just gonna keep going up depending on how good the service is. It's gonna good. start here. This is gonna be the minimum regardless. Right. Yeah. So I'm thinking, well damn it. You Should know, I start dancing? <laughs> <laughs> You take good care of me. I'm gonna. Yeah, this shit is gonna keep going up. Right. Right. Like, that should make you want to come. Hell yeah. You did. Yeah. 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 I, already heard, I just already brought out some more water. Like, yeah. Right, 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 right. My eye is on you. Uh, yeah.